Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Anthony Perkins, the man behind the infamous Norman Bates and Psycho, has lived a life as complicated as one of his character's unexpected twists. I'm talking about the roller coaster of gay and straight relationships, guys. Despite being married and even having kids, Perkins has reportedly cheated with more guys than you can shake a stick at, including one hot guy who is none other than Tab Hunter. Talk about life on the sidelines. Now. This is where the dramatic turning point took place. Perkins died in 1992 at the age of 60, all from complications related to AIDS. And understanding this, his fans are completely blind to the fact that he hides his illness as if it were some big Hollywood secret. But fear not, because Charles Wynev's book Split Image, The Life of Anthony Perkins, reveals all the fascinating details of Perkins' wild ride, shedding light on his efforts to become a co-star, karma, calculated in old Hollywood. But hey, Perkins isn't one to back down from a challenge. He even went on and married Barry Berenson in 1973, spawning a few kids along the way. Talk about a conspiracy, right? Split Image peels back each layer of Perkins' double life, showing us how difficult it is for openly gay actors when being in the closet is the name of the game. Back in February 2018, Jennifer Pryor, widow of the one and only legendary comedian Richard Pryor, dropped a bombshell that made everyone gasp. She confirmed that her late husband had a bit of an affair going on with none other than iconic actor Marlon Brando in the Hot 1970s. She claims Pryor never kept his love for boys a secret, even recording his adventures in a diary. This bombshell comes hot on the heels of Quincy Jones spilling tea during an interview with Vulture. Jones alluded to Brando's involvement with some big names, including Pryor, saying, he'll do anything, anything, he'll wreck a mailbox. James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye. You can imagine the shockwave that went through the entertainment world. But hey, let's not forget the love story between Jennifer and Richard. They married not once, but twice in the ADS and again in 2001. Their marriage lasted until Pryor's death in 2005. And with an influential comedy career Pryor and his seven children, this revelation about his past relationship with Brando just adds another layer to his already legendary legacy. So back in the swinging 60s, Raymond Burr, the man we all know and love from iconic TV roles like Perry Mason and Robert Ironside, noticed I'm an accomplice in crime or should I say accomplice in life. Burr was briefly married to Isabella Ward in 1948, but let's just say that ship sailed pretty quickly. It wasn't until a production of Perry Mason in 1960 that Burr came across actor Robert Benavides. And let me tell you, sparks flew. Burr and Benevides didn't just click, they formed a bond so strong it could endure anything, including Hollywood drama. They were inseparable until Burr's curtain call in 1993. And get this, they weren't just partners in crime, they were also business partners. They even went and bought themselves some land in California and started their own vineyard. Talk about a power couple. But here's the interesting thing, Burr has a unique way of handling questions about his personal life especially when it comes to sexuality. Instead of confessing, 
he tells a wild story about being married to a Scottish actress who suffered tragedy in a plane crash in 1943. I mean, who needs reality TV when you have the story of Raymond Burr's life, right? Now, rest assured because we are delving into interesting rumors surrounding the personal life of the legendary Clark Gable. Even though he's been married five times and has two children, young Clarky still sticks out his tongue and whispers about his romantic inclinations. One harsh rumor comes from none other than openly gay actor William Haynes. That's right, Willie and Gable reportedly shared a special connection, shocking the Hollywood elite. And let's not forget that little incident on the set of Gone with the Wind, when director George Cukor dropped a bombshell hinting at Gable's past encounter with Haynes. Talk about a scandal in Hollywood. Now, as for Gable's romantic adventures, they are a bit varied. From the actor who may not be dating Earl Larimore to his close relationship with Rod Laro, it's all part of the Hollywood rumor mill. And let's not forget Ben Maddox, Gable's extraordinary confidant and companion. Together, they navigate the murky waters of Tinseltown, keeping Gable's secret hidden, or at least trying to. But amidst all the rumors and complications, there was one girl who stole Gable's heart, the one and only Carol Lombard. Sure, she might tease him about his masculinity from time to time, but hey, what is love without a little bit of sinews? So here's to Clark Gable the man, the legend, the Hollywood legend whose love life was sweeter than a ripe tomato on a summer day. Now you just hang in there because we're diving into the spicy rumors surrounding Cary Grant and his sidekick Randolph Scott. Imagine this, two Hollywood guys living together in a mansion called Bachelor Hall talk about brotherhood across generations. So here's the scoop. Despite Grant's reputation as a ladies' man, his 12-year bromance with Scott these days has the tongue wagging faster than a dog's tail. Have dinner. I mean, living together in a mansion? It's like a real-life friendship comedy. But wait, it gets even better. In a tell-all interview with Barbara Walters in 1986, Grant shockingly admitted, Everybody says I'm gay, and I guess I am, but I really don't know. Hear the gasps around Hollywood. This confession shook the Tinseltown gossip to its core and marked a major milestone in the discussion about sex in the glamorous world of showbiz. And let's not forget the whispers from Grant friends like George Burns and biographer Charles Hyam, who fueled the rumors faster than a wildfire in the Hollywood Hills. Even though he took photos for fan magazines and played the role of a Hollywood handsome man, the rumors never stopped. So here's to Cary Grant, Randolph Scott, and the whole cast of characters who make Hollywood famous and exciting because in Tinseltown, the show never sleeps. Now, let's focus on Montgomery Clift, the mysterious charmer of the 1950s who had more secrets than a magician in a magic show. Even though he was nominated for an Oscar four times, Clift still tried to keep his personal life private as a Christmas gift. Unlike his Hollywood peers living in the City of Angels, Clift is relaxing in the Big Apple, keeping his dating life private and dodging scandalous tabloids like a pro. Karma. 
But let's talk about his legendary connection with Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, does that make the rumors spread faster than a bullet train? Even Debbie Reynolds spilled the tea in her memoir, recounting them. But here's the real deal. Cliff's brother spilled the beans in a recorded phone call, revealing that Monty has been waving his rainbow flag ever since. And let's not forget those flirty scenes with John Ireland in Red River talk about pushing boundaries. Despite all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, from movie gigs to coast to coast travels, he's the ultimate outsider in a town full of insiders. So here's to Montgomery Clift, a true Tinseltown pioneer who left behind a legacy as both a talented actor and a pioneer of LGBTQ plus representation in Hollywood. Congratulations on living an authentic life, even if it means causing some minor scandals along the way. Now, let's talk about Rock Hudson, the legendary man, the Hollywood star with more secrets than a magician's hat. Despite being the epitome of a singing idol and receiving an Oscar nomination, Hudson still has something hidden in her wardrobe. And no, it's not a fancy outfit. Imagine this, Rock Hudson, a Hollywood hunk, married Phyllis Gates in the 1950s. Sounds like a match made in heaven, right? Not very accurate. You see, Tinseltown insiders knew the truth Hudson was living a bad life. But here's where things get interesting. Gates, his wife, tracked down Sherlock Holmes and hired a private investigator to follow him. To her surprise, she discovers Hudson's little secret, his true love isn't exactly in the ladies' department. Fast forward to the 1980s, and Hudson had another bombshell he contracted AIDS. Talk about a plot twist. Suddenly, the all-American screen icon became a symbol for AIDS awareness. But hey, kudos to him for shedding light on this disease and being a pioneer in raising awareness. Now, despite being considered Hollywood's top actor, Hudson is no longer a stranger to guys, if you know what I mean. And don't forget his little black book of young men, courtesy of his West Hollywood connections. Talk about living life on the DL. But here's the real fun Hudson's complicated personal life puts a twist on those stereotypical media stories. His legacy goes beyond his on-screen achievements. It's also about breaking down barriers and paving the way for LGBTQ plus presence and support in Hollywood. But Shiva Dagan, living witness of the Holocaust and passionate educator, left this world in Bat Yam on January 25, 2024, the year she celebrated her 98th birthday. Born into a Jewish family in Poland, her family experienced painful loss when four of her siblings were murdered at Treblinka. In the slums, she and her younger sister Sabina overcame difficulties with strong will. After the war, Bat Shiva found new love in Brussels and built a new family in Eretz, Israel. A passionate teacher, Bat Shiva became a pioneer in teaching children about the Holocaust. Her life is a symbol of survival, sacrifice, and love. With her enthusiasm and love for learners, she leaves a deep impression and inspires the next generation. Bat Shiva Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bat Shiva Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient soul and a light in the darkness of history. Bathsheba Dagan, a resilient
Okay guys, let's talk about the one and only James Dean the poster child for rebellion and the guy who's kept us guessing for decades, even from beyond the grave. Now, when it comes to Dean's love life, it's like trying to unravel a mystery wrapped in a mystery with a Hollywood drama aspect, of course. Rumors about his sexuality have swirled like a whirlwind, accompanied by whispers of love affairs with both men and women. But does Dean care about labels? No, not one bit. He dances to the beat of his own drum, willing to conform to social norms. Enter William Bast, Dean's roommate and confidant talk about a dynamic duo. Their relationship is as complicated as a Rubik's Cube, leaving us all scratching our heads and longing to hear more rumors about their bromance. Now, biographers and colleagues have been trying to decipher Dean's personal life for years, but like finding a needle in a haystack, definitive answers remain as elusive as ever. But hey, who needs all the realistic details when you have Dean's undeniable charisma and smoldering gaze that can melt hearts faster than a hot knife through butter? Plus, his relationships with Hollywood heavyweights like Elizabeth Taylor and Marlon Brando only added more layers of mystery. So whether Dean is sipping milkshakes with the boys or stealing kisses from the girls, one thing is certain his legacy as the ultimate rebel without a cause remains. Exists, making us all wide-eyed in surprise and extremely excited. Ah, uh, Marlon Brando, the man, the legend, the Hollywood charmer with more romance rumors than a daytime soap opera. Even though he said I do three times, Brando still couldn't escape rumors about his love life fluctuating in two directions. Hollywood was abuzz with stories of his closeness, with big names like Cary Grant, Montgomery Clift, and Sir John Gielgud. Talk about an A-list love triangle. And hold on to your popcorn, folks, because in a blockbuster, Quincy Jones revealed in 2018 that Brando was dating none other than comedian Richard Pryor. Yes, you heard right Pryor's wife confirmed this incredible news. But wait, there's more drama than a daytime talk show. Brando's relationship with James Dean was a roller coaster ride, with whispers of a bitter submissive dominance dynamic. And don't forget a meaningful encounter with literary giant James Baldwin, adding a touch of wisdom to his romantic adventures. But hold on guys, because the plot will get more and more dense. Darwin Porter's Brando Unzipped makes scandalous claims about the tumultuous romance between Brando and Cary Grant, giving us more twists than a Hollywood blockbuster. Like the cliffhanger at the end of a TV season, these revelations both intrigue and leave us scratching our heads. The enduring mystery of Brando's love life kept us glued to our screens, pondering the wild journey of one of Tinseltown's most iconic stars. 